ask you a few questions. Hmm? Does it happen to you to feel like you have something to tell God? Yeah. Okay, so it happens to you to feel like you have a message. Yes. For example, something. Just give us an example of like something that you know is burning on your heart and you feel like you want to tell it to God or to people or it's a prayer or something like that. Yeah. Um, for example, when you want to say to tell God that you are tired of what you are going through, for example, that you need a breakthrough. So um, you want to tell God that you are tired of what you are going through. Yeah. Okay. Like when you pray, it's like you are having a conversation. So I'm like, God, okay, God, you are, you, you know what I'm going through. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I can't, I can't name everything, but you know. So, be God. Wait a minute, I want to write what you're saying. Hmm. You know what I'm going through. Yeah. Let me write on a paper. Depends on the things. Um, I can't name everything. Like I can't tell. I can't, I can't call or recall or tell. Can't tell it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, just take it all. Just be God. Just be who you are. Just be who you say you are. Uh, be God. He is God. Yes. He magnified me. This is when you are mad, by the way. Uh-huh. This is what I say. Mm. When I'm not thinking, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm just, I just want to let, let it go. Just come and take it, take over, cause I can't. Come and take over. And take control, maybe. Yeah. Take control. Take over. Yeah. And I thank you because you are already doing it. Oh, so you thank him? Yeah. Thank you? Because I know that you are already doing it. I know that you are already doing, doing it. Or working, yeah. Doing it or working. Mm. You're already working. <laughs> so this is this is my short mad short mad prayer. So she says, God, you know what I'm going through. I can't tell it all. Be God, be magnified, come and take control. Thank you, because I know that you are already doing it. Or you're already working. This is the prayer. Point. Now, how do you change this into a song? The first thing that you do. You need to uh, analyze the text or the text of your prayer and you have to detect the different ideas that are in the song or in the prayer. You know, like in a speech, you have points. Point number one, Mm. this is what I'm saying. Point number two, this is what I'm saying. If you are asked to go and uh, give a speech, you have an introduction, you have... You know, your three points and then you conclude, right? Mm-hmm. Songs are made like that. You, you you say a point in verse one, uh, bring in a chorus, which is like the main idea. A chorus, it's like the, you know, the, the main thing in a song, the, you know. And then you come up maybe with a second idea and then some people even get a bridge, which is can like something that builds up to the chorus and 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 then you you, okay let's see how many ideas are here god you know what i'm going through i can't tell it all so here idea number one this person believes that god sees you know god knows what she's going through right so it's Idea number one is God knows what I'm going through. I don't have to, you know, labor my point. I don't have to say it. I don't have to explain a lot. I don't have to explain so many things. God knows it. Be God. Be magnified. 
Now, the, the, the second point, you're asking God to intervene in this situation. Alright? Thank you, because I know that you are already doing it. This is the third idea that I'm seeing here. Thanking God, because even though I am complaining, I know that God is up to something. Okay? So, if it was up to me, I would take this thank you as a chorus, because thanking God is going to, it's going to be like the biggest idea in this song. To thank God is, you know, to magnify Him, to, 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 you know, to praise Him for what He is already doing. Because even though there are many things that I'm praying for, I realize that, you know what, there are so many other things that God has done. Number one, I am alive. <laughs> okay? Number two, there are things that God is doing that I can't see even right now. Okay, so um, I think in this song I can see two verses and the chorus. But the first verse will help now to expand the lyrics. God, you know what I'm going through, I can't take it all. How, do you, how would you write the first verse? Because now this is a draft. You have to write now a little bit like, you know, a writer or a poet or someone who... Huh? I need a poet here. Give me yes. a first line. Mm -hmm. What would you say? To write. No, how, what would you say? What would you write? About God, you know what I'm going through. How can we rephrase this in a musical phrase? Can I suggest something? <laughs> yes. Something easy. Okay. I would say you know it all. Uh, my pain, my shame. Huh? What do you think? Here I wrote, you know it all, my pain, my shame. So what I'm looking at before I even do any melody or anything, this is still a draft that can be changed. You can do like a, a thousand drafts, you are allowed to do that. Because um, you, know, you have the right to do your first draft, correct it, even give to somebody to listen, um, and then you know, even record it, and when you record a song, you are not obliged to take it to radio. That's the mistake that you make. You are not obliged to take it to any radio. Take the song at home, listen to it again. You know, call somebody, an expert. What do you think about this song? If the song is, you know, just crap, just, you know, don't release it. Okay? There are songs that I listen to today you know, that I released and I'm like, what was I thinking? <laughs> you know it all, my pain, my shame. I would say, and when I fall. So it has to be right. No, I'm just saying, you don't have to. Okay. That's, that's me, uh, okay. but it doesn't have to be rhymes. But if you can rhyme, then it's good. Why not? It, it, it is musical. I am still expanding on your idea. I haven't changed. Okay. okay? You know it all, my pain, my shame. And when I fall, um, what do you say? Those who say that I'm so right mm -hmm. <laughs> And when I fall? When I fall? Mm -hmm. You pick me up. You pick me up. <laughs> okay, the previous <laughs> sentence was my pain, shame. my shame. 
Uh, how can we? So it has to be something with A. Hmm? My hope. Take something. No, no. Try to read. You know it all. My pain, my shame, and when I fall, <laughs> your love is still the same. So the second idea here was God. No, be God, be magnified, come and take control. The second idea is now we are telling God to, you know, to do something. Uh huh. Wait, before you, you go to fears, why don't we just start with her phrase, "Come and take control"? Doesn't doesn't hurt anyone. It's her prayer. It's the original. Mm -hmm. Come. That's the original. And take control so we need to to cross check with the word of God let's read again and you tell me if you think it's biblical you know it all this is biblical right God knows everything my pain my shame and when I fall your love is still the same now when you say when I fall your love is still the same. You have to defend this. Is this biblical? Huh? Don't people say that when you fall, God is angry and uh, He wants mm -hmm. to punish you and want to kill you? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> is, yeah, I mean, I mean like, yeah. there are people who think like no, that. So when you say this, on which biblical basis are you saying that when you fall, your love is still the same? That's I want to understand. Huh? God's love is everlasting. Mm -hmm. Which verse is that? John? Hmm. <laughs> what does it say? Hmm. When you fall, your love is still the same. Which verse sustains this idea? Google. It's <laughs> 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 okay. So in your heart, there's no verse that's... Hmm? <laughs> Still the same. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He doesn't change. And John says that if you sin, he's faithful huh, to forgive for your trespasses, right? Mm. So it's biblical. Come and take control. Take my fears away. Hear me when I call. Come and make a way. This is normal, right? It's a prayer. Good. So we have some sort of message which is not outside the Bible. But now the question is how do we sing it? He has given me a new song to sing. A hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Okay. What do you think of this verse? <laughs> there is even another translation that says, He gave me reason to sing a new song, praising our God. May many see what God has done, so that they might swear allegiance to Him and trust Him Lord. Do you understand the idea behind this? It means simply God has put a song in our hearts. I always like telling people a song is not necessarily a melody. 
a song is is something that is you know deep burning within you and you feel like you want to say something and that's a song now translating it into a melody is something that probably you think is hard but it is not I have a question. How many know Lucifer? How many know Lucifer? The series. You've heard him. Not not the series. Come on. Millennials. I mean <laughs> You've heard of him. You've heard of Lucifer in the Bible. Okay. So the Bible says that this guy was made in a very amazing way. He was a singing being, like he could sing and then instruments come out of him. It's in the Bible. I can prove it to you if you want. Huh? He was a musical being, like he would sing and harmonies come out of his mouth and you know, it was just beautiful. But he sinned. So my question is, who replaced him in heaven? Discuss 20 months. <laughs> Angels, okay, yes. Name one, because you know, before, 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 um, when you want to, okay, when you hire somebody for a certain job, and then this person disappoints, what do you do? Hmm? You fire him first, but by firing him means. You are leaving behind some responsibilities and uh, somebody has to do them. There is a gap behind. So who remained doing the work of Lucifer after? Do we have any reference in the Bible? Any person who... Hmm? Hmm? As I was reading the Revelation chapter 7. Yeah, yes. But the way the Bible writes, mm -hmm. There are some five living, 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 living creatures, yeah, uh -huh. creatures and angels. Mm. That five sing and angels also sing. Mm. But those ones existed even then. Yeah, they, were they were singing with him. Mm. No one. So do you want to say that God is so careless that he... Huh? Yeah. Exactly. After the downfall of Satan, God created us. Simple. He said, let us create man in our own image, in our own likeness. We are here to praise God, to offer Him praise and worship. So, my question is, did God create us? Uh, in a way that you know with some luck in terms of talent in terms of did God create us like that? no he created us in a way that we are able to offer him praise now don't think that every praise and worship is expressed through songs there are certain people God created with abilities to paint, for example. There are people who can look at you like this with a pen and just, you know, put it on a paper, your face, and you look at it, it's like a picture. How do you worship God using that gift? Okay. Let's do it. One, two, three. No. You, you know it all. Okay. I'm
know